Hello and welcome back to this video where we're now going to take a look at the various different aspects of the interface when it comes to the materials editor. So along the very very top up here we have uh, just a bunch of drop downs and uh, this is going to allow us to enable, disable, show and hide certain things. Uh, most of the time you're not really going to use this as uh, all the commands are really sort of around the interface here. So directly below that we have this uh, sort of bar with a bunch of um, icons. So from left to right we have the save which will save the material. We have find in CB which uh, means find in content browser. So if I just pull this down and I click this find in CB you can see that the content browser highlights and also the material. We have the apply which will apply any changes we make to the material. We have a search which will search for expressions so if we click this you see a little search tab comes up here and we can search for any expressions we have inside uh inside the material okay we have a home and this brings us all the way back to the home which is uh this default my material uh, or my first material so this is where we plug in uh, diffuse textures metallic specular etc etc so, you know, you could just imagine how useful that is. You could have a bunch of networks um, and you want to get back to home, that's home, and it will take you all the way back there. We have cleanup, and this will clean up any unused nodes. So let me just give you an idea of what this does. If I bring in the node here, and as this is not connected to here, if we click this cleanup, then it will disappear. However, if we do that same thing again, so if I press and bring in a constant one vector and plug that in, and then I click clean up, you see nothing happens, but then if I create a new one, press clean up, you can see the one that is unconnected is going to be deleted. We have this connections, okay? So if you check and uncheck this, this will hide and unhide anything that is or is not connected. So again, if we uh, pull this up here and I click this little drop down, and then I click this, you can see that everything becomes really small. Next to that we have live preview which is going to give us a live preview of the material on side on on our um, material view here. We have live nodes which will give us a uh, live nodes inside the graph. Okay so this area right here is called the graph. So if we had um, say some sort of animated texture if we have this enabled then we can see that inside here we also have live update which is going to again do a sense of the same thing but it's just going to be uh, previewed live right here we have stats which is going to show statistical information about the material so if i turn this off you can see that on the stats right here that information has disappeared turn this on and it will give us a bunch of stats again and next to that we have mobile stats which is useful if you're building materials for mobile okay so a bunch of other information has now come up when it comes with or I should say when dealing with uh, mobile devices to the left we have the uh, material preview so we have a little sphere here and above these we have uh, different types of geometry we can preview on this one so we can preview this on a uh, the cylinder sphere plane cube and this next one this little teapot allows us to choose a custom um a custom mesh which we do not have selected so if i go to some of the engine content and we look for props so let's open this and say we had something like this uh this door frame and we're building our material and we want to see this inside the material editor so if we click this make sure it's selected and then click the little teapot you can see we now have that door frame. Now below that we have a bunch of properties and as we are only in the graph here this will give us the default properties for the material and these properties will change depending on what is selected so if I bring that constant one back in and I have this selected you can see those properties have now changed to that constant one vector as it is selected but if we clicked 
on the uh, graph again then it'll go back to those default properties now there are a whole bunch of uh, properties in here and i'm not going to go through every single one right now but as we progress through and deal with different materials then um, i'm sure they're going to go through and deal with them okay so if you click the graph or you click the um, default node here then those default properties are going to appear to the right hand side of the screen we have this really huge list okay and this list is all the expressions that we can bring into the graph view so to do that we can just simply click and drag them in we can also search for a particular expression or we can choose different types of categories so if you just want to look at each one and uh each uh, expression we can just look at that look along these lists now you'll also notice that some of these have um values next to them so this one has one two three four uh f etc etc and these are shortcuts and what you'll tend to find are the ones with shortcuts are the most commonly used um expression set so the one i was bringing in before was this constant and if i press and hold the one key and click then that constant is brought into the actual graph here this is not the only way we can bring in expressions if we want to we can right click inside the graph and we'll get a context uh, menu and again we have access to all those uh, different expressions and the search function so right here in the center we have the actual graph and we can navigate around the graph here so if we right click and move the mouse then we can move our pan around and if we use a scroll wheel we can scroll in and out and so just using those two uh, buttons here we can move around and we can uh, zoom in and out so that is the very basics of uh, this interface right here in the next video we're going to go ahead and start dealing with uh, putting in some inputs and and building up a very simple material so thank you for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.